CH3. So I, uh, if so, just to give you a briefing uh, or recap, I get this methyl benzene after reacting CH3. Uh, I, I use CH3Cl methyl uh, chloromethane as my uh, as my reagent. I react it with AlCl3. I get the CH3 plus group. And this CS3 plus reacts with benzene in electrophilic substitution. So just to do a recap, we did a recap. Now uh, let's move further. So we can have this side chain or we can have an ethyl benzene side chain. In most cases it will be an alkyl side chain when they ask you to oxidize your side chains. In most cases it will be your alkyl side chain. So we have four. Oh, this is a better circle than all the ones I've made. You have to make something exactly like this because it's bigger, it's closer to each carbon atom and it shows that my pi electron cloud has spread evenly. So make, don't make this circle, make this circle and this one you. Yeah, I've made a better one this time. So I have CH2. CH3. So, see, so this is ethyl benzene and it can go onwards. We can have propyl benzene, butyl benzene, pentyl benzene and so on and so forth. But uh, we, uh, so I want to oxidize the side chains. So what happens is that we use potassium manganate as the reagent. As you know, potassium manganate is a very, very strong oxidizing agent and the conditions are that we have a concentrated solution of potassium manganate, it's acidified and we heat. So learn this as it is and you'll get the marks. Instead of writing potassium manganate, you could just say KMNO4, save a lot of time, KMNO4, you can save a lot of time and you can move further, you can write the other things. So you can write KMNO4 and you can write concentrated uh, you can uh, so if you want to write all these together a concentrated acidified solution of KMnO4 along with heat so when we use this when we use these reagents with these compounds uh, we use it with methyl benzene or we use it with propyl benzene in either case what we get is uh, okay these arrows are too big I need some space for my benzene molecule so I have my benzene. It's not that good again, but yeah, this was my best attempt till now. And uh, when we use KMnO4 in, uh, in, under these conditions with any of these, we always get benzoic acid. So all of them are oxidized to benzoic acid. Regardless of the number of carbon atoms, this has one, this has two, regardless of whatever it is, we always end up with benzoic acid when we oxidize. So just remember that we will always end up with benzoic acid when we oxidize and this is the oxidation reaction KMnO4 a very strong oxidizing agent. So let's move further. Okay so we are done with the reactions uh, the, those were the only reactions for now you need to remember uh, when we do other chapters of organic chemistry we'll be doing some more reactions and uh, I will be giving you the reagents and conditions, but I hope you've made a note of it. If you've not made a note of it, all those reactions and the reagents and conditions, then please go back uh, in this video, please go back to the previous videos before the videos before this so that you can uh, write them down and uh, you'll be prepared. So uh, now we are going to talk about activating and deactivating groups. Um, so we, we know that a benzene molecule undergoes electrophilic substitution. So first we had a benzene molecule, a, uh, a plain benzene molecule, nothing attached to it. Let me try to get this right. 
Okay, yes. This is better, much better. Yeah. This. So, my circle inside, I have my bend.